Hey, welcome to my tube. My eyes are kind of squinty. I wasn't real, real certain if I was going to get this out today because I had some real world business to attend to. It's always so funny to... Wait, my, my name's Marge. I'm a Hayoka. I'm a wise clown. And every day I do these little energy reports. I collect data and put out my take on the world. <laughs> And uh, kind of how it's heading. And I, I use a lot of tools, different tools, different venues, uh, to interfaces, if, if you will or won't, to do that. A uh, lot of astrology, big on astro astrology, Western and Vedic too. Because um, what's happening within us, <laughs> where our planets are, however they are arranged, it's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> um, so however they are arranged, you know, it's like planets represent different emotions and, and houses represent different areas in our lives. Like the seventh house is like relationships, I think, and eight is like work and employment or vice versa. There's just too much. Those And there are people that dedicate their whole lives to studying and knowing that placements and aspects and all that and I collect too many other things to focus so much time on it so I refer to people to Sam Kippy he's Vedic um David Palmer is Western Heidi's Vedic Vandenberg which she's real estate and more now than these anything I think these days um you know <laughs> Being into esoteric stuff is very freaking taxing and draining, and a lot of people just aren't up for it. They don't have the longevity for it, and so a lot of people that have started thought, you know, maybe make some money, you know, help some people kind of stuff. They've freaking already flashed out. Um, I've been doing these videos. I think this is three nine. It's three ninety seven because yesterday was three nine six. <laughs> 369, those numbers are significant in numerology. You should check it out. I'm big in numerology too. Anyway, we all get little clues and guides and, you know, <laughs> which way we should go in life. And sometimes we get roadblocks to divert us and, you know, switch gears and all that stuff. And they ain't kidding when they mean you gotta go with the flow, yo. You gotta go with the flow. And, um, <laughs> you know, every time I look at the news, I just, I freaking. When something comes across some place, like some news store, I'm just like, freaking man. Yeah, is the world getting better yet? Is it great again yet? Is everything all fixed and hunky-dory yet? I have an idea for all the the senators and congressmen and women. All you guys that make 190000 a year. Any, any, anyone that is in a public, higher-up public service capacity. Governors, too, especially you governors. I challenge you all. To go to where your state, where your skid row is, because everyone has one, because you, because every state is a freaking hog, yeah, because you guys have to drive your big fancy cars, your fleets of cars that don't get used 16 hours a day, but you buy them every, new every year, you know, fleets and fleets and fancy, you know, and business cards and all its heavy card stock for mailings that you keep sending out over and over and over again. Because it's all free, but you care about paper, right? God, I've never seen a state waste so much paper. They send the same thing out, like, over. It's like, dude, there's a glitch. But, anyway. So, you guys go hang out and live in your skid rows for three three nights and four days without going home. We'll see how quick stuff changes for people that don't have stuff. Yeah, because once you hear the stories about how they got there, freaking nobody wants to be there. No one wants to be there. But because, you know, there's so many offices and bureau, it's, there's not made to help people. Government isn't made to help, it's made to hinder. And now it's got a flippy floppy swippy swap because the gig is up and there's too many people that are suffering. Whether it's mental health issues, mental, I hate that word, mental health. Whether it's the emotional dissonance, man. Who isn't depressed unless you, you know? Who's not depressed? Who gets away with being happy and joyful and glee and get do what you want every single day in and day out, you know? 
I'll live like that when everybody has a roof over the head. Until then, I just am always going to see that there's work to do. Yeah. <coughs> it's like, you know, I drove past on my way to, is you know, I went past a tent city. I just, fuck, dude. With all the gifts, and then I think about all the gift cards that people have in their wallets from Christmas that are going to sit there for another year, and they just want to freaking go knock on doors and collect gift cards and then take them down and buy socks and under thermals and lightweight thermals and toothbrushes and toothpaste and 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 things like that and bring them down to these people you know that's the only good part about there being so much pain and strife and displacement and 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 and, and nomads you know, wandering souls right now is because the more those there are, the more compassion grows in the world. Because when people live live that way, you don't want anyone else to have to go through that because it freaking sucks. You know, so all these people that kind of stand by, you know, and then I see like GoFundMe feed people, you know, so like people that are on vacation, furlough, whatever, government shutdown. I was told to have six months you know, bills and all. I did that. I had money, 401k, come in here, you know. Freaking sucked it all dry. Freaking tapped it all out, you know. But, um, what are you gonna do? What can you do? Just keep going, trying to figure it out, you know. Some people have it easier. <laughs> Some of us are, you know, just have to get more creative to get things to start clicking in life, you know. I just keep telling myself that life is good. Because you can tell yourself that life is good just as easy as you can tell yourself that life is shitty. Because either way, you're going to believe yourself. You know? If you're good about being honest with yourself. I'm pretty good about being honest with myself. I have to. I can't afford to not sleep at night. I already have enough trouble as far as that goes. Anyway... I'm climbing to the good stuff, you know. Um, there's always good stuff to look at. It's where you, where you got in your light. What are you looking at, you know? I found new stuff. <laughs> I started watching. I freaking love Sandra Oh, man. She makes me laugh. You know, I, even in Under a Tuscan Sun, I freaking dug that. She, I started watching her show, Killing Eve, I think it is called. Good stuff. But I'm kind of stuck on Lodge 49 right now. It's kind of in line with me and where I'm at right now. And he's joined his lodge. He's got his temp job, and things are looking up. And it looks like things are looking up for me a little bit too. You know, um, it's just trying to have a little bit of fun <laughs> till you get on to the next challenge, and then handling that. Moving on to the next one, you know, ebb and flow. <laughs> and I do myself a lot more favor to just let things go. Because when it's I start getting bound up and I hate this and I don't want it like that, then I that's when I freaking start freaking shooting myself in the foot, you know. But <clears throat> more of the karmic retribution is coming out. All, I mean, everywhere you go, everywhere you look, it's people are... Or, or it's just so weird. I don't know. I think that's about it. It's just going to be a real short one today. I'm going to meditate. I didn't get to yesterday. And I need to... I only got to do like 38 minutes. Today I'm going to shoot for my hour because I'm overdue. Um, and this is as long as you can do things every day to keep yourself chill. Whatever you meet out there in the world, if you can calm yourself, you'll be all right. It's emotional control. That's how we're going to differentiate us between people that are less civilized. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.